folks, I'm super close to adding a lot more money in this sector. We're going to break down some stocks in this video and an ETF that I'm looking to buy here in the very short term that I've owned for years at this point, but I'm looking to add more to it right now. So if you all find value, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. We're almost at 30,000 subs. And don't forget to get your free money from Moomoo, the sponsor of today's video, up to 16 stocks, each up to $2,000, guys. Check out that link down below. All the details are right there, or you guys can go to stock surfast.com slash moomoo you'll find all the details there as well and with that being said folks cheers let's dive right into the video so i'm sure you can see right here this chart this is the xle etf which is the select sector spider trust energy etf and this is well an energy etf comprised of a bunch of energy stocks that include i believe chevron exxon maybe i'll pull up the etf on uh, Google later and we'll uh, we'll see what specific stocks are in it but this is the one that I'm focusing on right now that I've actually owned for quite some time I can't even remember how long I've owned it probably uh, maybe close to three years at this point it's been a while uh, but either way that's in the long-term portfolio now I'm considering adding more to the long-term portfolio and maybe a longer or maybe maybe a more midterm swing position in this as well. I actually made a tweet about this uh, yesterday. Make sure you guys go follow me on Twitter at Stasserfest or just type in Stas Talk Stocks on Twitter. You'll find me. I'm verified. I paid for that because, well, a lot of imitators are out there trying to scam my fans. They're freaking messaging my family, guys. This is getting insane. They're, uh, I said this in my video before. People on Instagram are impersonating me and messaging my cousins in freaking Greece, guys, in Greece, <laughs> you know, all the way across, uh, you know, the globe. But either way, we're not going to get into that in this video. Go follow me on Twitter, by the way, and on Instagram, Stasserfest, Stas Talk Stocks. You'll find me on there. Uh, but I made a post talking about XLE as overall it is starting to break out. It's starting to reverse. You guys can see this did very poorly throughout the course of uh, this year, pretty much up until really a month ago, uh, this ETF went from 93 bucks per share down to about 74. Then it kind of uh, consolidated, consolidated and bottomed out at about 74, 75. And since the end of June, beginning of July, it started to take off. As you guys can see uh, right here, it's taken off, right? And this coincides, of course, with the price of oil going up. I'm sure you guys have seen this. The price of oil has been spiking. If this wants to load, there we go. Since, uh, believe it or not, the end of June, you guys see that right there. Oil bottomed at about 65, 66 a barrel. It broke out of the moving averages, took out the descending triangle that we had drawn out, and it's been breaking out ever since, right? Oil got all the way up to 85 a barrel, which happens to be the resistance from the last couple of months. You guys can see right here, then it pulled back a bit. Now we're at what? 84 a barrel, uh, down about 6% from that point, but it's actually up 0.7% today when I'm making this video, and it looks like it is starting to rebound off of this 180 SMA at 80 bucks a barrel on the four hour chart. So maybe a rebound on crude oil could be around the corner, which honestly would help here uh, with these energy stocks. So, what I'm looking to do, guys, is again add more to XLE because I'm not in the game, especially with energy stocks. I've been open about this in the past, right? I'm not the biggest. Um, you know, I don't want to say the biggest fan, but when it comes to me researching stocks and diving deep into it and wanting to pick individual stocks, I'm not doing that in banking. I'm not doing that in, uh, you know, energy, right? I've been very open about that on this channel throughout the history of this channel. Believe it or not, I'm not, I'm not new to this guys. I've been doing YouTube for what? Almost six years now, this upcoming October, it's going to be five or six years, whatever it is. I'm losing track of time. Either way, look, I've been open about that. And when I'm not looking to pick an individual stock, when I'm not going out there and buying, let's say I'm looking to buy Wells Fargo and finance, right? Or, or banking, right? Whatever. I'm looking to buy, uh, you know, Exxon Mobil. If I'm not looking to go pick an individual stock, which I'm not looking to do that here with these, I just go and buy an ETF, right? I just go and buy XLE, which is the energy ETF. I just go and buy uh, XLF, which I think is the financial. Yeah, XLF is uh, the financials ETF. So if you want to make a bet, what I'm trying to get at here is if you want to make a bet longer term or short midterm 
on a sector in my opinion it's way better to go and just buy an etf and bet on the entire sector especially if you're not super educated on that sector and you know the winners now if you know the winners and you know every little in and out of this sector, right? That's when you can go in and pick the individual stocks. That's when you have the advantage. But if you don't have that advantage, guys, and you want to just make a bet over the next six, nine months, just go with the ETF. That's what I'm looking to do here. And that's not me claiming that I've never owned individual energy stocks. I've owned individual energy stocks and bank stocks. Uh, but you know, I've gotten out of those, made some money, lost some money. Uh, and if I'm making a bet long-term in these, in these spaces, right again, I'm going ETF all day, baby, all day, baby. And in this case with energy, again, XLE is what I'm looking uh, to get in on now, especially as it's turning directionally bullish. Is it, is it not? I mean, we're reversing above the moving averages. We have a golden cross. This is looking really strong. And if you pull up the three year on XLE guys, the three year chart will show you this. Look, we're clearly putting in many higher lows. Are we not higher, low, higher, low, higher, low, higher, low, higher, low, all these higher lows. But at the same time, we're digging ourselves into this 90 to 95 dollar resistance range which has been resistance for the better part of a year and a half at this point right almost a year and a half so the way i'm looking at xle guys is this is is bound to break out right at least the way i'm looking at it or else i wouldn't be buying it at this point right if i thought it was going to go back to 50 or 60 bucks a share I would not be buying it uh, or still holding the shares that I already have and that I've you know owned for three years at this point. So I'm looking at this like, all right, if 9095 breaks, which I suspect it will, right? We have this triangle play out. Now we're breaking towards the hundreds on top of that juicy dividend that they currently pay. Let me actually pull it up on Yahoo Finance, guys. They're not affiliated with this channel, but I just have always used their app for years and years at this point, guys, and I have to give credit uh, where I guess credit is due. So their dividend yield right now for, for XLE, which again is an ETF, it is 3.7%. That is juicy, guys. That is uh, pretty juicy. And let me show you the details or read the details to you in terms of these holdings. Where the heck are the holdings, guys? It should be here uh, somewhere. Yeah, show all holdings. All right, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. So we can see. Well, I can see. You can't see. Their biggest holdings are by far Exxon and Chevron. So Exxon makes 21% of the uh, ETF. Chevron's 18%. So you're betting heavier on Exxon and Chevron with this ETF, full disclosure, which I'm personally completely okay with that, right? Because although that is roughly 39% um, of the portfolio, you still have exposure to ConocoPhillips, SLB, EOG Resources, Marathon Petroleum, Pioneer Natural Resources, Phillips 66, Occidental Petroleum, all those that I just named combined, they're pushing the other 30, 40% of the portfolio. Then we have 10% some other names uh, that we're not going to mention right now because I can't see them here on the app. But either way, look, XLE, we, we can see this break out, in my opinion. And think about it. The fundamentals here, guys, a lot of people are predicting another surge in inflation. I hope it doesn't happen. I, I don't want this to happen. I do not want this to happen. But if it does happen, this is kind of a contrarian bet here, putting money in XLE. And that's another way that I'm thinking about it. I'm not telling you guys to go buy. Obviously, I'm not telling you what to do. But the way I'm looking at it is, all right, contrarian bet here. Let's say we do have another wave of inflation, hypothetically, right? Oil's probably going to go crazy. Uh, XLE, energy, all these stocks are probably, probably going to start breaking out again. And that's where the money is going to be made while other stocks might get hit like the tech stocks or other names, they might get hit. So this is a, another way uh, to bet, um, not necessarily against the markets, but let's say we do get that second wave of inflation, certain defensive stocks start doing well. That's kind of how I'm looking to profit off of maybe that second wave. And even if we don't get a second wave, I think this setup is very bullish, um, you know, the, the technicals themselves. And that, that in and of itself makes me want to buy and just hold, right, based on these charts. Because I think overall, uh, especially with the breakout on oil as well, 95 could be coming, uh, you know, breaking here on XLE. And, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. I kind of covered everything, uh, you know, I wanted to cover. We're starting to, you know, reverse here. 
This is one that I've owned for three years. I'm looking to buy some swing shares as well right now. And I'm looking to hold and even add more to my long-term position as well. Because while we wait or while I wait for the breakout, I'm collecting the dividends. Even though I'm not the biggest dividend guy, uh, you know, I've mentioned that before. I don't mind dividends here and there. I mean, it's not it's not like I, I don't want to own any dividends, right? I'm not that kind of guy either. Uh, so I'm collecting the dividends and I'm looking to add more. I'm liking it, guys. I'm liking it. And seriously, think about that control bet. That's kind of the way I'm looking here at, uh, at, at energy and not that we're just going to piggyback Warren Buffett, but I think he bought more Occidental Petroleum recently uh, based on the most recent 13F and he's still very bullish on energy, which, you know, I'm not buying solely because of that. Again, I've owned this for three years, uh, but to see Buffett uh, be on that side of the trade still, that's a good sign considering how well he's done over the past couple of years. Think about it, guys. He's played the past couple of years very well, which we're not going to get into in this video. The video is already uh, 10, 11 minutes. But yeah, he's done very well, and I'm pumped about what's going to happen here uh, You know, over the next couple of months, next couple of weeks. So what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Feel free to hit that like button and to subscribe. And don't forget to get your free money from Moomoo. Link down below. And to follow me on Twitter at StasserFest or just go to Twitter and type and stocks, talk stocks, whatever. You'll find me on there, guys. And check out my Patreon if you want to see me build out my private Patreon portfolio, see what I'm buying, all the moves I'm making in there, plus more. There's a lot of other perks as well. Check out that link down below. And with that being said, folks, cheers. I'll see you later.